Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Shalom, Yasharala. Peace, Israel. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Once again, Kahalayim, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. Shalom. We need to be saved. Now, we need to be saved now. The prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai need to come to pass first. But we need speedy deliverance. We need to be saved as soon as possible. The video that you just seen was the reaction of steel wool from smartphone radiation. If this smartphone did this to the steel wool, what is it doing to you? What is the smartphone doing to you? Every time you pick it up, every time you touch it, every time you answer a call, every time you get on the internet, every time you text, etc. Okay? You use Bluetooth, use Wi-Fi, whatever the case may be. We need to be saved now as soon as possible, man. Reading this again, Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And when you look at this video, this is proof that there is a most high this is actual proof that there is a most high there is a highest there is a higher power behind the scenes controlling everything because we should all be dead right now there has to be an outside force keeping us alive there is an outside force the source himself Yahweh by Shem Yahushai preserving our lives. We shouldn't be here. We should all be dead. Okay, but the Lord is keeping us alive. So, I mean, man, we need to be saved. We need to be saved, though, because even though we're still alive, even though we are still alive, we are still being affected by this technology. But you know what? All praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. We don't have long. We don't have much longer. The Lord is shortening the days for the elect's sake. For you brothers, man. All right? Let me get another scripture. 2 Ezra chapter 2. 2 Ezra in the Apocrypha chapter 2. And verse 13, getting to the point. Go and ye shall receive. Go and do the work. Go and teach and ye shall receive the kingdom. Pray. So you need to be praying. And the word pray means to beg. Beg Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. Pray that Yahweh by Shem Yahushai speeds the time up. The kingdom is already prepared for you. 
watch. Watch as well as pray. And Yahweh Shah, when he comes back, he's going to give us a real life. We're not going to need to worry about living in a damn microwave because we live in a microwave, basically. This electric grid, computers every damn where. Okay. You know, uh, digital billboards everywhere. You name it, man. These different uh, cars people drive. And everything in this society, you know, this, uh, you know, these different electronics, they all basically emit uh, radiation. They all emit radiation in some form or fashion. So we're dying, man. As we're living, we're dying. We need to be saved. In the kingdom of heaven, you're not going to have to worry about this. We're going to have those immortal bodies, those perfect bodies, man. But right now, Hey man, hey, we need you help Hashem Yahusha. Period. The Lord is preserving us, man. We should be dead. But that's why he's speeding the time up because all creation is doomed under Esau. Period, man. Okay? But you know what? Hey, this devil, he's perfectly fine with his technology. You know? He's perfectly fine with smartphone radiation, which is why he is implementing these different 5G towers, you know? And they say that, well, the internet is going to be much faster. You're going to have a faster connection, you know, because of, the, you know, the, uh, the frequency. Man, they are implementing that thing to synchronize everyone with this mark of the beast system. So everyone... So everyone and everything can be integrated into this system. That's what it's about. Okay? Because they need this technology to be able to track every man, woman, and child all around the planet Earth at the same time. You know? They need that high-speed internet to do that. You know, to track you, to, to uh, track your business transactions. That no man might buy or sell, save he there at the mark. You know, so to keep up with everything at the same time, everything being synchronized, being ubiquitous. OK, and this 5G technology emits a whole lot of radiation. You better believe it, man. You know, but just dealing with the smartphone itself, you wonder why everyone is popping up having cancer, man. You know, we need to be saved from Esau. Everyone and everything needs to be saved from Esau. Hell, Esau needs to be saved from uh, himself. <laughs> you know? Which, you know, Esau can't be saved. You know? I'm making a joke. But, hey, even his own people is doomed under him. But the point is, we need salvation from this nightmare. This is a damn nightmare. Okay? Now, there are certain things you can do. When it comes to this technology not affecting you so much, you know, a lot of brothers are into the stones, you know, they're into the, uh, the, the different precious stones on the earth. And these stones are mentioned in, in the uh, scriptures. But these stones, for example, you have amethyst, which is a form of quartz. Uh, you have amethyst, you have amazonite, malachite, onyx, these different stones they absorb and also deflect negative frequencies, radiation, okay? The, the different frequencies from your computers, from your uh, televisions, etc. But overall, pray to you how about Shemiah was shy. But you know, brothers do use these different stones, you know, it's here for a reason. And also you can burn various uh, wood, you know, Palo Santo, sandalwood, cedarwood, you know, brothers burn frankincense and, uh, and myrrh, you know, dragon's blood, etc. These different, you know, uh, uh, incense, the, these various um, uh, odors, you know, sweet smelling savors, they cleanse the air. But overall, pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh okay? And pray that we get the hell up out of here very soon because it's going to get worse, you know? It's going to get much worse. 
Even though the Pastor Harriet said that, man. It's going to get worse before it gets worse. Now, this is the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 36. And I'm going to get to the point here. Now, Sirach 36 and 7 down to 8. Actually, I'm going to read 7 down to 9, which really all this is good, man. All this is good, really, you know. I tell you what, I'm going to read 7 down to 11 because I want to get the point. Raise up indignation. Indignation is righteous anger. And pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Who is the adversary and the enemy? Esau, Edom. They are destroying the earth, man. They are adversaries not only to Israel, but to all creation. Because this different, you know, um, wickedness, these, these different devices that they're making, that they're bringing to pass, is affecting the earth, man. That's why all these birds are just falling out the sky. All these different sea creatures are just washing up on shore. All the bees dying. Okay? Etc., man. They are the enemy to life. Make the time short. Hey, this is a prayer, man. This is a prayer and a prophecy. Make the time short. Remember the covenant. The covenant that he swore to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? And that covenant is ultimately being fulfilled by way of Shai Coming back, saving us, destroying this place, and establishing the kingdom of heaven. And let them declare thy wonderful works. And we're going to declare his works after he delivers us, man. We're, de the, uh, we're declaring, excuse me, we're declaring his works now by teaching, but also when he saves us. All right. Let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire and let them perish that oppress the people. Right. Dealing with this system, man. This system has to be destroyed. OK, America, NATO and the EU, this beast system got to go. And it will go. Okay? America's going to be destroyed. And you other nations are going in slavery. Beginning with Esau Edom. Beginning with the top. All right? Hey, <laughs> you know, the Lord has the attitude, take me to your leader. Okay? It's going to begin with, with uh, your leaders going to slavery. Going into slavery first. Then the rest of you. Smite and sunder. The heads of the rulers. Oh, you see? The people at the top. Smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen. That say there is none other but we. Yeah, they had this God complex as if the Most High not watching them, man. But all praise to you, by Shemia was shy. They're doing all this wickedness. They're destroying the earth. Now the Most High about to judge them, man. And pay them back. The Most High gave you this technology so you can ultimately... Reach the most high so you can be judged, man. This technology brought you to the most high. You searched all over the earth and you know there's a higher power. You know he is. Yahweh. Okay? And you know his son was on the earth 2,000 years ago. Yahweh shot. And, and he's coming back with the holy angels. And another thing too, man. Esau has this wartime propaganda against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, he paints the Lord and his son and the holy angels in the negative light by way of the media. You want to say that aliens are coming back to uh, destroy the earth, you know, and they're evil. There's going to be an alien invasion. If that's the case, why is there a strange sighting, a so-called UFO sighting of a chariot of the Most High destroying a chemtrail? Let me play it. Let me go to it. Because the whole planet Earth is not going to be destroyed. Only America. America and the land of Israel. But the land of Israel is going to get built back up. And this is going to hit different parts of the Earth. But the Earth about it forever. The Earth is going to be here. But watching this video, let me just play it, man.
Now, by this holy angel destroying this chemtrail, this shows you that Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, is protecting the earth. Okay? But the Lord is allowing Esau to do all his wickedness. But the Lord, he could take down Esau right now. Right now, at this very moment, the holy angels, beginning with the top holy angel, Yahweh Shai, can just come down and dismantle this whole system. This is proof the holy angels, beginning with the top holy angel, Yahweh Shai, are being held back. Okay? But very soon, they're going to act. Very soon, they're going to come back. But the Heavenly Father, he's bound by his word. Certain prophecies have to come to pass first before the Lord's second coming. But you better believe Esau is going down. That has to happen. It's going to happen and it has to happen. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Who is that wicked? Pursuant to Malachi 1 and 4, the border of wickedness, the territory of wickedness, are the Edomites. And they're being revealed right now by the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the Lord's mouthpiece on earth. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, which are the prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So you, you have to be revealed first, but afterwards you're going to be destroyed, your system. Okay? Now, jumping up to verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Who are the mystery of iniquity? The so-called Illuminati. Okay, because at first it was a, uh, a secret as to who they were. But they're being revealed, as I just read. And they're working right now, working wickedness in the earth. But listen to this. Only he who now letteth or alloweth will let or allow until he be taken out of the way. So the point is, just by you looking at this, at this uh, video here, this lets you know the Lord is letting or allowing Esau to do all this wickedness until it's time for him to take Esau out the way. And we're fastly approaching that time. That's why Yahweh Shah said he beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Esau about to go down quick in one hour. In one hour, man. Pursuing to Revelation 18. The point is we need to be saved. All right. Point blank, period. Point blank period. Now let me finish this in uh, Sirach. Sirach chapter 36 and verse 8 again. I'm going to read 8 and I'm going to jump down to verse 11. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. We're going to praise you. How about Shemi? I was shy for saving us, man. For getting us the hell up out of here. Verse 11. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. Showing you only Israel is going to be saved. Only Israelites are going to be saved. Point blank, period. The 12 tribes, which that's according to the covenant. That's according to the promise the Lord made with our forefathers. Our forefathers. This is according to bloodline. It's according to genealogy. Now, we don't have the records, but we have a spiritual DNA test. Okay? The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the sons of the Most High. Okay? It tells you in Deuteronomy 28 that all these curses shall be for a sign and a wonder upon us and upon our seed forever, meaning for a long time. So you know who the Israelites are pursuing to the prophecies. You read Genesis 49 about what the sons of Jacob will be doing in the last days and their geographical locations. Okay, you read in Deuteronomy 33. Okay, the blessing that the Most High uh, blessed the Israelites with by way of Moses. The point is, brothers, 
We are in a high time of prophecy. We need to be delivered. Point blank, period. All right. Point blank, period. All right. So with that, I hope this is edifying. It's more I want to say, but that's the point. Esau got to go. All right. He got to go. Once again, if this still wool is reacting and being affected by this smartphone, by the radiation, what is the smartphone doing to you? Every time you pick it up, okay? And not only that, but this whole society, what is it doing to us, man? We need to be saved. All praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Barak Thumb, to the elect, Babu Kushai, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Abba Babal.